New details in a story we have been following for more than a year. The lawyers representing a New Mexico prisoner have asked a judge to dismiss his conviction or give him a new trial. Action 7 News anchor Royal Day has the latest on this developing story. Jacob Duran is in prison for murdering 64-year-old Teofilia Grotti in 1986. But lawyers with the New Mexico Innocence and Justice Project retested evidence in the case. Now they're done because they say it all showed the same thing. None of the DNA testing that we did is consistent with Jake. He, he is positively eliminated as a source of everything that we had tested. Gordon Ron is a UNM research professor and director of the project. They've asked a judge to overturn Duran's sentence or give him a new trial. Ron believes a new trial is more likely. That gives a jury the opportunity to hear this new evidence, to hear the scientific evidence. We should get a decision by late April. But as this case develops, the New Mexico Justice and Innocence Project is dealing with a different battle. We're kind of relying upon and hoping for private contributions. The grant that funds them runs out May 31st. Ron says the program is now in jeopardy. It's run through the UNM Law School. Students work on cases like Duran's. First of all, love it. They, they absolutely love the hands-on experience that they, that they get with this. Ron says they benefit greatly from this work. In fact, he believes we all do. These students are the future of, of the New Mexico criminal justice system. They're going to be the defenders, the prosecutors, the judges, eventually the legislators and the governors. He's hoping this resource will be around for the next wave of UNM law students. The more they understand how these wrongful convictions can happen, the better the chances are that they can stop it before it happens. In Albuquerque, Royal Day, KOAT Action 7 News.